Panorama TV presents How They Do That, where we explore the world of professional photographers and share their techniques with you. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of How They Do That. Today we're joined by fashion and editorial photographer Loretta Houston in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome Loretta. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm so happy that you could join us. Even if it's on your webcam, it looks phenomenal. Okay, tell us a little bit about your work. Well, I'm a beauty fashion photographer based out of Atlanta, and I actually travel between Atlanta, New York, and Miami. And um, I do mainly beauty as of now, as of lately, but um, I'm an editorial fashion and beauty photographer. Well, that's phenomenal. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the equipment that you use on a daily basis? Cameras, lenses, flashes, things like that? Major gigs that I have that are more ad campaign, advertising. Um, I use a lot of pro photos, which I rent. And then I actually, for my personal projects, I do have alien bees that I work with. As for lighting, as uh, for, I mean, I have a Canon. 30D that I work with at the moment, and I use a variety of lenses, the 50 millimeter, the 24 by 70, um, but those are pretty much my two main, main lenses that I use. Awesome. Um, and how long exactly have you been shooting? I've been shooting uh, for three years, as of April 1st. Wow, so you've got, you came from zero to where you are today in three years, is that right? Yes, I have a, it was a lot of hard work. I'm a self-taught photographer, so I spent endless nights at Barnes and Nobles and a lot of YouTubing. <laughs> so, I mean, do you have any tips for people? I mean, there's a billion people that want to do exactly what you did. Uh, it's almost, you know, it's very difficult to do that. How exactly did you get so far so fast? I just had a lot of support from other photographers um, that were willing to show me certain things. I did take a two-day lighting with one specific photographer one day was Saturday and it was a um, studio lighting session and then the next day which was Sunday was an outdoor lighting session and after that I just pretty much ran with it uh, my own style my own way of lighting everything so just that one you know just even from that one photographer that helped me it just took me a long way. And, but I have a lot of friends who are photographers and we help each other. It's not about competition. Okay, well that's, that's phenomenal. We really believe in community as well. Um, well, one of the things that's really interesting about your pictures is the locations that they're in. How do you find these locations? Well, <laughs> I go scouting or um, pretty much I, there's a lot of, Atlanta is, a lot of people don't think that Atlanta has great locations, but we really do. Um, uh, some of the editorials I shot that I, that I have given to several magazines thought that I actually shot it in New York, but it's little pieces here and there that I'll find in Atlanta, in the middle of Atlanta, somewhere downtown that I will just, you know, shoot at. And people are very helpful in finding me locations as well. What do you do in your pre-production? How do you plan a shoot? Well, I do a lot of art direction other than being a photographer. So I do a lot of storyboarding. Um, and I, I'm very fortunate to have makeup artists and hairstylists that just are as creative as I am. So we'll go through the process of giving each other inspirations uh, to start off with um, via email or um, in studio meeting. And then from there, we try to play on it and figure out how we can actually make it to a story in our own twist. Um, I personally don't think that everything is original anymore. <laughs> um, so what we do is we take, a, take an inspiration and make it, you know, give our own twist and make it our original photo. We have some of my favorite shots that you've taken. And if you could, I'd like you to walk us through start to finish how you created these images. So the first image that we're looking at is this one, and it's of the uh, girl with the blue makeup on her chin. So tell us from start to finish how this image was made. It really just started as a plain beauty, so we really didn't have the concept up front, and pretty much 75% of the things that I do, um, as far as beauty is concerned, always comes during the time I shoot. So um, the, lighting, the lighting was done with one light. And it was a beauty dish, an alien beauty dish, that I used on her with a reflection, a reflector under her. Um, so, and as far as the makeup is concerned, we played, we had clay, and we used clay. <laughs> the regular clay you use for pottery. 
and we wet it up and put it on her and then um, we tapped it on top with uh, loose makeup which is loose powder that was blue with sparkles on it and that's how it became and then um, then I took it in Photoshop and did my thing. Well I love that image so let's look at another one that you shot this one is uh, again of a girl and she's in water um, and she looks like she has porcelain skin so walk us through that one how did you do specifically how did you do the lighting and then how did you do the retouching? Well that was outdoor in the backyard of a house <laughs> And what we did is we filled up the swimming pool. I had a beauty dish pointed at her. Um, it was midday. I'm that type of photographer that likes to shoot midday. I don't know why, but I do. Um, I think it's because the colors are very vivid and bright. Um, but I did use a beauty dish and, um, and a ladder um, that was over her, and I shot her downward. Um, and that's how I got that shot. And of course, just the playing of the Photoshop saturation and cloning of the skin. I don't do blur on, on I, don't, I don't edit skin with blur. Pretty much I do a lot of cloning. So Loretta, specifically about the skin in your images, can you tell us um, some, give us some tips for editing skin? Because you said you don't use like a Gaussian blur. How do you get that porcelain looking skin in your images? Well, um, pretty much what I do is when I go into with Photoshop, I uh, first of all do the shadow and highlighting. That's like one of the first things that I do. And I adjust it there. And then I take it in and I start cloning the different parts of the skin. I do follow highlights in skin. So um, I'm just, and I'm very particular about cheekbones. So I make sure that that is done correctly. But I do a lot of cloning, no blur. I do have a filter that I developed um, as far as adding texture to skin as well. So if there's a, a model who doesn't really have good skin, I use that filter. And that filter is pretty much um, adding noise and embossing it and then using it against the skin off uh, soft light. There's one more image I'd like to talk to you about and it's the guy that's in the riding boots with the suit. I love that desaturated look that you have. Can you walk us through how you uh, made that image? That shoot was done in New York, um, and really what I did is there was um, the, uh, it was a black foam board, um, and uh, it had already been messed up in the background, and it had a lot of, you know, scratches on it. So what I did is I just played with it, and I had him pose in front of it, post, uh, put it in Photoshop, and clone the background. Um, and then I um, basically made a grudge, a grungy type background to add to give that old timey texture um, and multiplied it against it. And that's how it became the way it was. Well, I love it. Well, Loretta, unfortunately we're out of time, but thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I, I enjoyed this interview. It's been a blast. Well, everybody, thanks again for joining us for How They Do That. Remember, if you have a question about photography or if you know a photographer that you'd like to see on this show, just send me a suggestion at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.